At the end, I mention three notes. First, please subscribe and follow on our YouTube channels. Second, I recorded some videos in Persian for a simple and multiple linear regressions in the past and uh, I add cards of these uh, tutorials in top of the, this video you can click on cards and watch these videos and third I will include a poll uh, beside of this video and add uh, this poll in my captions please participate in poll and comment your ideas about these tutorials now let's go to uh, training before uh, interpret uh, reports of uh, regressions multivariate regressions i prefer to check about assumptions first assumption first assumptions was independent observations Unfortunately, uh, multivariate uh, in SPSS has not an option to check about independent observations and uh, we uh, need to uh, go another uh, way to check about independent observations. Then click on analyze and go to regression and click on linear regressions. Here you have to set your models one by one. First we set above cholesterols and click on gender and age uh, as uh, independent uh, variables. Then click on statistics and turn on or click collinearity for check about multi-collinearity and click on Derby Watson to check about independent observations. Then click on continue and finally click on OK. Another time run this uh, way and uh, set uh, dependent variables as uh, LDL. Then click on OK to see reports. Now uh, to check about uh, independent observation, we have to go to a table named Model Summary and uh, a column named Durbin Watson, uh, and uh, we have to uh, see and read about uh, the value reported. In other words, the Durbin Watson uh, criteria uh, has uh, a value between uh, 0 to 4, but uh, in a statistics and uh, in a, a statistic books uh, report that if Durbin Watson value uh, varied between uh, 1.5 to 2.5, uh, we can assume that there is independent observations. And this uh, assumptions uh, was assumed for our data sets because for cholesterol models, we have 1.72 and for uh, LDL, uh, uh, it's reported 1.81, 1.81, okay. But for uh, multicollinearity, you have to go to coefficients tables and check about a table uh, and columns of VIF, means variance inflation factors. Uh, if uh, you have a VIF uh, near uh, one, uh, you can assume that uh, there is not multicollinearity between your independent variables and these assumptions. Now for our data sets is assumed, uh, especially for cholesterols and now for LDL models. To check about uh, multivariate normal distributions and also uh, about outliers, especially influence, influential outliers, uh, we have to some more clicks. Uh, it's uh, better to go to analyze and click on descriptive statistics and click on explore, uh, then click on uh, residuals 
for uh, uh, cost rules also residual for LDL to displace, then click on uh, statistics and click on outliers and continue also click on plot and click on normality plot with tests and turn off uh, stem and leaf then continue then click on ok SPSS reports some tables but we need to go to a menu uh, named test of normality a table uh, named test of normality and uh, we now see that uh, residual for cholesterol and LDL have not uh, normal distributions uh, especially a QQ plot uh, also uh, approved this uh, conclusions and we see that especially for LDL uh, normal distribution was not assumed uh, now go to uh, QQ plot okay uh, we now we see that there is uh, some outlier uh, residuals here at the end of this uh, assumptions I can uh, say that if uh, violation of normal distribution in your data sets is very serious you can check about your data sets uh, and uh, recognize uh, data sets with uh, far from normal distributions and correct or finally uh, remove that uh, rules uh, to have uh, the residuals near to normal distributions and finally uh, i want to check about influential residuals are there any influential residuals in our data sets to do this you have to go to graph and scatter plots then simple scatters and click on the leverage residuals to y axis and id to x axis then click on okays do another times for LDL leverage residuals and we see that leverage of uh, both dependent variables uh, have uh, values near to zero and now uh, we can be sure about uh, influential residuals and we can say that there is not influential residuals in these models and other assumptions for uh, multivariate regressions is equality of a covariance matrices. We see that there is a table in reports of SPSS named box test of equality of covariance matrices. And below of these tables wrote that uh, this test uh, is about uh, equality of covariance. In fact, the null hypothesis of this test is that the observed covariance matrices of the dependent variables are equal across groups. And these assumptions is assumed about our models. And another part of these assumptions is uh, equality of uh, error variances in the models. And now we can check these assumptions uh, with the tables in uh, multivariate uh, reports uh, named Levin's test of equality of error variances. And now we see that uh, equality of error variances for cholesterols and for LDN dependent variables are assumed.